So, what's the beacon? On what could be a lovely day. Should be. So yeah, fingers crossed. Oops. We've got some more sun on the ground now. So hopefully something will kick off soon, but we're in a bit of a blue hole. So I think just patience. Too many people in this gaggle, it's not really going fast enough. So the thermals are getting better, but a bit broken at the moment still. This big cloud here has got our name on it. So up at 3,100. It's five to 12 and I've gone precisely nowhere, but that's all right. Take it steady to start with. Be nice to leave the hill at cloud base. Three and a half thousand feet. Amazing up into Wales there. Not quite so good down that way. Where's the lift gone? Got a sailplane down there. He's quite low. Well, I guess he could glide 10 miles from there, so not that low. Right, the best bit of lift is definitely out in front there. Two and a half. Or two. Right, I put four and a half thousand feet. Wolven down below. Wolverhampton. Getting slowed on gently. See a few of those three or four K in front. Three thousand three hundred. Just cross the River Seven. Try and dial in on the best bit of lift. I'm with two good pilots. Just cross the motorway. Rob's down there, Steve, I think. Keep my eye on that glider. I'm up at 47. Be nice to get right up to base. But it'd also be nice to get away from this big cloud here. Get into some of this stuff. 48, let's 
let's push on. Just about a pass over Evesham. those sunny this looks pretty cruddy that way there's some nice clouds that way so I think if I don't get anything here come on yes. two meters at times come on let's find it Three seven. My flying companion is heading off downwind. Don't know who it is. Twenty-seven kilometers an hour of wind pushing me along. Which is, which is good, but it sort of breaks up the thermals a bit. Sky looks great there. It's great there. It's just sort of that way. It's looking rubbish. But maybe it's a lifty line of clouds. Meanwhile, that's looking better. Oh, down to below 3,000. Just, just such a big area of shade there over Evesham. going up. feet <coughs> that down there is a prison but we're allowed to fly over it because we're not in a helicopter we have the ultimate freedom they have very limited Cloud up there didn't do anything. If anything, it collapsed. I, I think, 
Oh, it's decisions. That's the direction I want to go. But there's a lot of shade on the ground. Because these clouds are looking a lot better. Sunshine. I think for the nut, for the time being, I'm going to go up here. And then I have to go south again. And I can't, that strap on Avon, there's an ATZ somewhere close to it. So I need to get high first. That'll be where the climb is then. Strap for an oven down there. Three and a half peaking. frustrating when you know there's a strong climb nearby and you can't quite that's about at three because you know you if you can find it you'll be going up twice as fast five minutes in a thermal instead of ten minutes and it all adds up it's one o'clock just past for the time being. Four and a half, yeah. I think I'll go on and find a better climb. Oh, here we go. Three, 3.2. Oh. So I just realized I was above, I was over 5,500 and I'm just about to go into 5,500 airspace. Um, but I'm down at 5.2 now, so got a bit of margin. And that there is the, uh, ATZ, which uh, needed to avoid. So I'm on the correct heading to get around the four and a half thousand foot airspace. But I could cut the corner a bit if I'm, you know, who knows what height I'll be at that point. Right, so have a bite to eat. What's the lucky dip? Actually, I got it wrong. That aerodrome there, that's the ATZ. I don't know what that is up there. Four and a half. Oh, I've done 47k. A bit of a blue hole ahead. I need to get up. Is there anything to 
go for? Where's the other glider? He's over there. Three six oh. Oh, another glider that might be Ken there. Two, two. It's two meters per second. Just got to stick with this now. As high as four and a half. Can't get higher. With four and a half, I must admit. Donking climb. Hope that I find something. And I seem to find a reasonably decent climb. Okay, I'm up at 4-2 and I've, I feel I should probably head out of this climb because it's 4-5 above me. Going. I want to be going in that direction. I might have gone 10 feet into airspace, don't know. Anyway, 4-1 at the moment. I uh, just need to try and spot Ken who's 
about 3k ahead. So I'm coming out of the climbs at about 4,000, give myself 500 foot margin. Got another 20k of this of staying under four and a half. Unless I could uh, go out to the south. Oh, I'm at 3,300. I've flown 75k. Where's Ken gone? There's a similar height, a couple of k in front. And a rather nasty sink. I head for the sunshine. Those can, yeah, I've got it. It's on the horizon. All those fields. Come on. Only a meter per second. Fifteen hundred above the ground. Four grand. Pretty nice climb in the end, that one. The sky is looking nice. What's that big city in front? All right, Northampton. So I am outside the uh, four and a half airspace now. We got to five and a half. down at 2.7 so I need a climb someone said that these rapes rape fields oil seed rape are good I'm about to put it to the test feet let's be patient three thousand feet need more still see the Morgan Hills I think. I can go it to 7,600 feet here. The sail plane up there going nicely. I saw him, so I followed him. Come on, where's a strong bit?
Ahora Three and a half Come on, I do want to be nice to get up to cloud base for virtually the first time in the flight. My flam buddy screen is empty, apart from one dot. Rugby ground down there. Northampton is a big rugby town. Come on. Should I just push on? than 4,000 there and I've done 98.5 kilometers that looks like the best bit of the cloud uh, I've done 100k my my uh, ground control has spotted me just sent me a message so that's nice and I found a good climb Four meters per second at times and I'm up at five six and base is still higher and lovely clouds the way I want to go Literally no one on my floor. I'm all alone up here. Okay, I think I'll I'm at, got just a tad under six grand. a lot of turning there's a house down there that has got the longest drive in the world as it were it landed 747 there don't know what it's called it's got Wellenborough at my 10 o'clock wind is saying it's 28 kilometers an hour Nice. Right. Five and a half. Let's try and find a stronger climb head. Maybe right here. Hey. Just want to get up here and then along that way. Ah, let's go for the cloud. Darkest bit sort of looks there. That'll do. Three.
sailplane has hopefully seen me. Head for the exit. Oh, my hands are cold. Two point five. Approaching Huntingdon. Been going for just over four hours. Done about 100, 140k. I'm below 5,000 feet. shade recently. Some Neops down there. 4,200, come on. Lower than I've been for a long time. 3.6. I need to climb again. Going for sunshine. I could have drifted with that maybe. Trouble is now I'm in three down. Should have drifted with it, but let's get into some sunshine. I can see 
two sailplanes thermaling over the town. If I can get there. There's a few parks to land in. up at 4,000. Sweet climb. Okay. I set a goal at Ely, which is seventeen K away. 
But it'd be quite nice to do the 200. So let's see. From the, here, here it, from here, Fly Sky High is saying I could glide straight to goal. There's Ely, that's my goal, 180k. But why land at 180? Tired of in the white room there, sort of snuck up on me a bit, but uh, got out of it in a minute. Ely there, it's only 10, 10 past four, it'd be rude to stop now really. I'm not sure how I'm going to get home, but I'll worry about that later. I should have packed my Volbiv gear. Ely Cathedral loud and clear ah, just a bit shady and a big I hope these sort of sunny patches here on these brown fields work and the poly tunnels and things. It'd be quite nice to get to Thetford. But let's just try not to go down. Nice. 
98 kilometers. I'm down at a thousand feet above ground. This uh, builder's yard is about my last last chart. It hasn't rolled over onto 199 yet. Can't believe it. Ah, the camera battery just turned off as I landed. Whew. Ah. Hello there. Yeah, I I had spotted them. Ah. Oh. Oh, I've got to get back to Bath <laughs> in the west near Bristol. <laughs> oh, right. I've 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 been flying for five and a half hours. Oh, well, right. <laughs> yeah, all the way from uh, um, the Malvern Hills near Worcester. Oh, right. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's trains. I think is going to be the. Uh, oh right. What I have to use. Oh, well, that would be amazing. Yeah, I'll give it a look. That was a good flight, though. Hello, mister. Does it smell good? Yeah. Just try not to land on the dog. Bella, Hello, Bella. <laughs> Can you smell my dog? So anyway, I've landed. What's this village called then? Hockward. Hockward. <laughs> and Logan here has very kindly. Uh, well, his mum gave me a cup of tea, and he's driving me to Ely Station. So uh, it's a result. Yeah. Well, I've made it to the the uh, train station about five minutes before a, uh, a train left for Cambridge. So that's what I'm on. Um, what a flight! What a day! Brilliant. Ah, so I've had a very nice beer outside. I've been shopping at Sainsbury's. I've got some food and drink. So my train journey to London and then to Bath is going to be acceptable. And it's not bad actually. All the way from Ely to Bath, 40 quid. Well, 43 quid. So uh, yeah, I don't call that too bad. Up here, I've got about 14 minutes to wait for my next train, which is on platform eight, which I hope is where I'm. Well, we made it to London King's Cross. It's always a good flight, sign of a good flight when you have to cross London with your paraglider. <laughs> ah. And it's quarter past eight. I can't remember the last time I was in London. Bloody ages ago. Oh, good pizza. Tempting. Back in Bath. Train's a few minutes late, but uh, my chauffeur is waiting. A quick run through of the weather for the day from RASP. 
it was clearly starting pretty early in Wales and in fact that's why a bunch of guys went to the Eland Valley um, to get an early start. So this is 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock now and the area I'm starting from is uh, somewhere around here, the Malverns and it's already in, uh, five star. And this five star area is just going across, uh, heading, heading east across the country. So five star at one o'clock, two o'clock. You can see there's a few big sort of spread out areas. And I did see those, not necessarily, you know, they're not exactly in that place, but they were around there. Three o'clock and we can see, where was I at three o'clock? Somewhere around uh, here probably. Um, good sky, four o'clock and yeah, big sort of dead areas which is what actually sort of happened by five o'clock yeah running out of steam i was sort of in this area here if we're looking at the wind quickly let's switch back to 11 o'clock and let's look at the uh, boundary level average wind so it's reasonably strong uh, the yellow area is 12 to 14 knots and it's just slightly uh, north of west. And that was ideal because it was going to push me round the, uh, to the south of the four and a half thousand foot airspace, Birmingham airspace. Um, and going more west and then slightly from the south of west throughout the day. So sort of a perfect track really. Um, and, you know, a good strength pushing, pushing me along. Cloud base, well, the forecast I think Rasp tends to underestimate the forecast um, uh, the cloud based forecast so 11 o'clock it's saying it was four and a half thousand feet yeah actually that's probably about right um, 12 up to five thousand feet yeah yeah um, one o'clock two o'clock starting to get some red areas so up to five and a half thousand, six thousand feet. Four o'clock. Uh, I, I was over here, Cambridge Way. Yeah, five and a half thousand. Yeah, it was a bit higher than that. So yeah, it was a, what a, whatever. It was Rasp was showing a good high cloud base. So yeah, um, and the importantly, if we just look at, let's go to sort of like one o'clock, and click on some of these the tepigrams. A sensible cloud top rather than the sort of twenty thousands we'd been seeing over the previous days just go forward a couple of hours uh, three o'clock again still limited to about eight thousand eight or nine thousand feet so not le uh, much uh, reduced risk of big big showers because not there was a bit of a lid on the developments today so yeah a much better day than than had been uh, than we'd experienced recently. Okay, I think that will do.